Western Conference Finals action here on 2K Sports. We've seen this series go to 2-0. Now a critical juncture for determining where this series is going. Welcome everyone to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan and joining me tonight, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, reporting from the sideline. GA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Utah's Quinn Snyder is an elite coach. He says it's rewarding to be a part of a group that's bigger than a coach or a player. That connectivity. Guys have found things for themselves within the team, and that's how we play. Everybody's getting something out of it, but also selflessly contributing. Kevin? What a great philosophy. D.A., thanks. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Punch out there with Lee. Then there's Peyton. Then there's Moody. And it's Toscano in at the four slot. And for Utah. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Ivanovich out there with Jordan Clarkson. And it's Gobert in at the center. Take a look at the chance. Down to none. They got a win tonight to get some traction in the series. And if they lose this one, you can forget about advancing. It's more likely you're trying to avoid a sweep. So tonight's all or nothing. And the Jazz start out with the ball. And here is Conley. Driving the lane. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. There's Clutch. Passes it to Toscano. And that one, good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Gobert. Mitchell with it. Now Peyton defending. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Goes to He's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. The Jazz working the ball around now. Bogdanovich, no luck. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of the position, you can see the frustration on his face. Leading outside. Fires the three. And the three ball is good. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. It's been a slow start here for Utah. Seven-point differential. They want to put some distance between them and the loss on Monday. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your elements. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And then it starts to become a mental block. You start to think, oh, man, I can't. I can't, Mr. Mitchell. And slam dunk by Gobert. He knows his job. Gobert is there to own the glass and cash in on as many second chance opportunities as he can. Clutch. His second shot goes in off to a good start, two for two. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect four for four start for them. Now they're just getting all the shots they want. And slam dunk by Gobert. Oh, the four general skills of Kyle. He has a fantastic feel for when his teammates need the rock. Here's Clutch for Mike Conley. Here's Lee outside. And another three for Golden State. Three points. Oh, great ball movement there. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Conley. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. And with the ball in his hands, Mitchell attracts attention, then breaks down the defense with the pass. And he slams it one-handed. And this sort of awesome one. dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. A great pass to set up the lane. Conley's got his second basket of the game. He's so crafty with the bucket. You give Conley a little room to work with, he'll do his thing. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 158 left in the first quarter. Kicks it to beat. Lee outside. Clutch the pass to Lee. Shots five on the clock. Here's Clutch. And that one hits back iron. 
golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Whitesides checked in for Rudy Gobert. Eric Paschal comes in for Bogdanovich. Rudy Gay's checked in for Jordan Clarkson. And David Mwaba subbed in for Mike Conley. Then for the Warriors, Eisman's checked in for Rudy. Kavon Looney comes in for Toscano Anderson. And Kaminga's subbed in for Damian Lee. Now, here's Mitchell. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. They get it back, and he gets it back. You got to keep Whitesides off the glass because he's a huge threat to put misses back in. There's Clutch, covered by Mitchell. Clutch sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Clutch has got nine points. Oh, they've tailored their offense around him. Let me tell you, he loves playing in this system. Mitchell passes to Whiteside. Back to Mitchell. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz are taken. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. There's 38 seconds left here in the first quarter. From outside the arc, good on the triple. Mitchell's got his second bucket of the night. And when he's hitting from deep, Mitchell's practically unguardable. Can't crowd him out there. He'll just drive right around him. Hey, dude, that's good. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, and so far, both teams have been outstanding at the offensive end. Got a lot of game left to play. Shot, high post. Jump shot is good that time. He's got seven. He must have had a good warm up because he's hot. He's three for four already. And we're only getting started. On deep. And it's right side with the rebound. Now, Nwaba. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Out to the right wing. Three from game, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Tie game and some big points being put up on the board. Clark, as we wrap up the first, we've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. from game three. What do you guys think about the Jazz here in this one? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Those who approach. If you have a favorable matchup inside, just keep pounding it in there. Golden State's gone three or four from long range in the game. Matthews out there with Mitch. Then there's Whiteside. Then there's Rudy Gay. And it's Pascal in at the power four. That's the group for Utah getting going here in the second. The Jazz shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. That's good by Mitchell. You, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. And here is Peyton following the three-pointer by Donovan Mitchell. Here's Clutch covered by Mitchell. Here's Clutch. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Gay outside. There's the pass to basket. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. 
pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Heisman no good. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. Here's Mitchell. Offline with the baseline jumper. Warriors trail by five. Peyton outside. Right wing. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touch by Peyton. Flat out also concentration. Substitution on the court. left in the first half. Good D by Peyton. Golden State's gone 6 of 10 from three-point range up over 50% for the ball game. That one good for two. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Mitchell finds Gay. It's deflected. Clutch defended by Gobert. Here's Clutch. Trills the three pointer. Clutch has got 14. His teammates keep getting him the ball in his favorite spots. He's done a lot for his shooters. Mitchell outside. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. And there's an edge to Mitchell's game. He wants to be the guy in charge. And if that means he's got to get physical, he'll do it. There's Clutch. 14 points for him. About three seconds between shot and game play. No good with the elbow jump. Now here's Gay. Gobert with the bounce pass. Pascal kicks to Mitchell. Tie game in Utah. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and some better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, for the Jazz, they're facing a second half that will either put them on the brink of elimination or breathe new life into this series. One thing's for sure. They can't let this game get away and expect to have a decent chance to rebound from a 3-0 deficit. Shaq, how'd you think the Jazz were playing? Their inside attack has been overwhelming. It's hard to beat some of them when they're living at the rim. These guys are imposing their will physically. Hey, you gotta keep pounding them. And over to Kenny now. How'd you think the Warriors were playing? Well, they were lighting it up from three. And that was the difference in the first half. They did a good job of running off screen, spotting up, and getting rid of the ball quickly. And their shot selection, solid. We're back at the Western Conference Final. Happy to have you with us here on 2K Sports. What can you say, Clutch, an impressive effort here today? And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. And once again, why he's considered a clutch talent in this league, rising to the occasion. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. He's got the... So clutch out there. Peyton is out there with Moody. And it's Toscano in at the fourth. Now, here's Mitchell. For three. The shot comes out. Golden State's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Clutch. Number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. Utah trailing here. 
Mitchell outside. Gobert against Lee. No one near Conley as he lets it go. A three-pointer is right on target. Conley's got 14 points. This has been a strength of Conley's throughout his career. A spot on Here's Clutch by Conley. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. For Utah, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Pat Donovich wide open. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Bogdanovich has got his second basket of the night. Here's Clutch over by Conley. Hits it from three-point range. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Well, it's a matter of pride and a matter of each side trying to seize control of this game right now. Now, here's Mitchell. 12 points for him. No one covered him. That's seven points for Boyan Bogdanovich. And you just have to admire that aggressive ball nature ball. of Bogdanovich. He's just itching to pull the trigger as soon as the ball hits his hand. Timeout called the Warriors. For three, Mitchell. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. And with that three, his second of the half equal his total from before the break. Here's Clutch. And again, it's the Warriors missing. They have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Plays it up off the glass. Clarkson's got the lead up to six now for the Jams. One of the things Clarkson does best is converting off the trip drop. Here's Clutch. Hangs on the trifecta. Clutch has got 22. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong board. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game. Clarkson dishes to Mitchell. Right side trying to break free. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist from Clarkson. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Kaminga. And another three for Golden State. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Utah. The lead is two. And it's Mitchell with the jam. And the coaching staff loves this. Mitchell being assertive on offense and just imposing his will. Here's Clutch. And it is good at the puzzle. Wow. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Yeah, great job of getting the look before the horn sounded and gaining some momentum. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for Utah. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. A chance now to hear Coach Quinn Snyder talking to his team moments ago in the huddle. Let's just keep playing with the same intensity, okay? On misses, you guys really run in space. Anyone can bring it. Well, he's trying to get them to maintain that edge right now. And, and solid advice from Coach Snyder. Wanting his squad to remain engaged. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade, all fueled up here for the fourth quarter. Taking a look at the Jazz. Third pass go out there with Gobert. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then it's Mitchell, and it's Gay in at the three spot. Back to Clarkson, inside. Here's Mitchell, up and in on the way. Mitchell's got 12 points here in the second half. They're getting on a roll inside of their last three field goals that come from the paint. Here's Clutch. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. This is why they go to him in these spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the stretch. Now, here's Mitchell. No coverage, that's it. 
Mitchell's got 26. And certainly they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here. So. Again, Golden, Golden State. State. Nice play Assistant. call there. Down Jonathan. the stretch, giving him the open look. Yeah, and when the game is tight, you can see why they go to him. And, and by the way, where was the defense on that play? Now, here's Clarkson. Here's Gobert. Off with the layup. Warriors have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Here's Clutch. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Feeds it to Clarkson. The second chance effort. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And going to the free throw line would be Clarkson. Confident ball there. At the line for Utah, Jordan Clarkson, at the line for two. Free throw good, Clarkson. Former first team all rookie. You have to be picked in the second round. Clarkson, a draft day steal. Bogdanovich is checked in for the Jazz. Mike Conley comes in for Rudy Gay. Peyton, he's checked in for the Warriors. Damian Lee comes in for Kavon Looney. And both free throws good for Clarkson. Here's Clutch. to take the lead. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got rebound number eight now on the night. Clarkson passes to Mitchell. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Mitchell's got six here in this quarter. Warriors trail by four. Mr. Clutch. And again, no good by Golden State. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Mitchell outside. Asked about Donovich. Turn around Jay. Eyes again. Gobert can't hit. The Warriors have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. And yes, it's good. Lee's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but defensively, neither side has been able to adjust, and that's reflected in the score. Conley with the three. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got a six assist on the night. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're down by three. 149 left in the fourth quarter. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Donovan Mitchell. Hey, guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. One play at a time. Execute the game plan. That's how we're going to win this game. Kevin is trying to keep him focused. Thanks, David. There's Clutch. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Clutch has got 35 in the game. He wants the ball. They want him to have the ball. And as usual, he comes through and flips. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Offline with his three. Warriors have gone six and nine on the field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. And Peyton throws it down. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Stolen. There's the alley -oop. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle sports for the Warriors. They played a heads-up brand of basketball this entire game, and they've got the steals to prove it. 
Yeah, and also the way they've been able to generate points off of the turnovers that they forced tonight is also helpful. And the Warrior lead has been cut down to just two points with the bucket from Conley. Here's Clutch. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And how about the execution, really, when it matters the most? He knew he had the height advantage and just got the job done. No need to pass in that situation. Now here's Gobert. Clarkson for three. Money! And that shot brings them to within just one. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hand. They know they can count on him to make pressure shots. Sinks the triple. Crushing it. Blow to the host right there. I mean, they were in this game for what felt like only a second before instantly giving that three-pointer. Utah calls timeout. They trail by four. There's 48 seconds left in the game. Inside, Conley. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. The experience is showing through in these moments. Conley's used to stepping up when his team needs a buck. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. Who's back up? Yes! Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. No time to waste on this possession. Uh, again, they've got to get into the play fast and execute. It's your only goal. Utah calls timeout. They're trailing by four. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Second difference, shot and game clock. Mitchell finds Conley. It's good! And he has brought them to within two points. And look at the calm attitude of Conley. Amazing to stay in control and coming through in the clutch. Clutch the pass to Peyton. Here's Clutch. That short off the rim. Now here is Conley. T right on him. Floats one up. A huge shot to tie it up. Personal game of Conley. And he can spot up and drive up. He can create for himself. He's a tough guy to defend. And so Steve Kerr tries to call a timeout. Let's see it there. There's Clutch. for weeks, but for years. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. You have to think at this point, up three zip, it's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.